Hi everyone, welcome back to Style of Blender and today we are going to make a pattern from an existing garment. It could be a top, kurti or your old dress or whatever garment you feel it has a good fitting. And at the, at the end of the video I will show you on a real how to replicate the real from the real garment because the reason why I choose this drummy dress is because it's easy for me to explain it to you guys so that's that's the reason but if you want to skip this part and uh, you want to uh, see the original how I created the pattern from the original garment then just skip it for about five six minutes and then you will see at the end uh, where I have the original <clears throat> dress and how I replicated it so first uh, if you are creating uh, your pattern on the fabric directly which I won't suggest so if you are doing that it's okay just fold your fabric in half and uh, then start making a mark and if you are doing it on a paper first it could be any paper newspaper or uh, freezing paper or you have this kind of chart paper or white paper whatever you have and uh, then start from the folded side or from the corner so we can uh, assume that it's going to be a folded side when you are going to make a pattern on your original dress. So uh, start making marks for uh, on your garment and just if, uh, if it's a little bit dif difficult for you then I would suggest to pin all the way down so you can easily make marks. It's a very quick and easy video uh, and uh, I do understand that my previous videos were a little bit complicated so this is an updated version hopefully it will help you guys a lot all right when you're finished marking then uh, I would uh, tell you what you have to do next Once you are done, then all you have to do, this is a good replication for your regular kurti or if you want to make a top, then just adjust the length and you're good to go. All you have to do is add the seam allowance, but if I will, which I will tell you in a moment, but for me, I want to extend it for a long gown or dress, whatever you call it. I call it a baya for myself so I'm gonna extend it for my abaya and uh, the length I will be taking is 55 inches and so from the top start marking for 55 inches and the width of the dress is entirely up to you how wide you want for the casual wear or for um, a small party I don't like to uh, wear like very wide gear or very flowy fabric i just want it a little bit straightforward so um i take 60 inches the width i usually take is 60 inches and for the whole garment so uh, for example if i take 60 inches then i will be divided into four and my answer would be 15 inches which is going to be uh, 50 inches, uh, sorry, 30 inches wide at the front and 30 inches wide at the back. So total is going to be 60. So mark whatever width you like. And uh, this pattern is good for uh, most of your dresses. Even if you want to do the umbrella cut, uh, trust me, it, it's really uh, good for the umbrella cut style gown as well I will tell you in future how you can use it for umbrella cut but this is going to be a line for now and from the waistline to the bottom you can mark it uh, you can mark it straight line uh, sorry slant line so it would be your uh, the width but if you want a little bit loose uh, around the waistline and uh, for the 
for it's good for the pregnant ladies and so on so all you have to do is just mark from the chest line to the bottom but for me i'm gonna take it from the waist to the bottom of my dress and from the corner my half inches up and curve it out a little bit uh so you won't have any angle uh sorry any extra fabric uh, which is going to be um, tangled in your sandals dry, uh, or your foot or so anything after that you're pretty much done but I will be adding if you are adding a border then don't add the hem allowance but if you are not adding a border and you're doing the simple hemming then I would suggest you to add one inch uh, for the hemming and on the sides I usually take two inches it's always good to have extra and uh, shoulder line neckline and armhole add 0.25 to half inches depends how much you take in while you stitch your garment and uh, for the chest waist and hip seam allowance is usually one to two inches it depends how much you want to leave your fabric if you need to make more fittings for future and that's it cut it out and um, you can put this use this pattern for uh, your long dress or gown so on a garment is gonna be something like this and or if you're going to create it on a pattern it's going to be just one-sided so this is how I started with on my original this is how I draft <laughs> with my original kurti I personally don't like to uh, use the existing garment to create a pattern uh, because if, for me it's easier to just uh, do the measurements and create my own <laughs> uh, pattern but it's not a bad thing to do it it's just the way i don't uh, like it so it's all the per personal preference preferences preferences as you can see i am struggling a little bit It's because this this is what I don't do it at all but that's a trick and you can use it it's completely allowed and I know a lot of a lot of people in my family uh, they want to draft it like that and they just good to go uh, just make sure you add the seam allowances because if you won't do it it would be uh, tight around everything so as you can see I took about 2.5 inches for the back armhole and that's the same thing I will be doing for the front front is going to be a little bit more deeper and adjust your fittings if you want to lose your fabric and do whatever but that's uh, really easy trust me and uh, try it on a paper first and then on a regular shirt or kameez and hopefully you you will see good results out of And this is the finished look and as you can see this is um, the front and back marking for the armhole and uh, seam allowances all around uh, my dress and at the bottom as you can see I curve it a bit it's not a deep curve it's just you have to take half inches and thank you so much for watching uh, the video uh, and uh, I am trying my best 
to uh, make my videos really easy for everyone and everyone can try those uh, steps. And that's about it for this video. Thank you so much once again and take care you all. I will talk to you guys in my next video. Till then, bye now.